Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. Today, my guest is Jack Muir, sculptor. Welcome. Nice Thank you. to have you here. Glad Jack, to be here. Tell me about your sculpting. How did you start it? Well, I started sculpting um, in um, art school in Montana, mm -hmm. Montana State University, and uh, did a little sculpting there. And uh, after I graduated, uh, I played around a few different jobs, uh, this and that. Uh, I had a light, had a lifelong interest in, in art and uh, had just graduated with a degree in art, but uh, not many jobs for artists out there. No, so, no, they're kind of lean sometimes. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but I found my way into a foundry, bronze casting A bronze casting foundry. Bronze casting mm -hmm. foundry. Well, that was pretty perfect for a sculptor, isn't it? It was great. <laughs> and uh, I actually uh, ended up working in the foundry and I ended up uh, managing that foundry. Oh and my then, goodness. Uh, uh, after about four years, I actually ventured out on my own and uh, have had Kalispell Art Casting for the last uh, 32 years. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So that was just kind of meant to be. If you would start to work, then you understood how that art was created. You had the passion for the art, but that's neat. So you've mm -hmm. always done clay models first? Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then tell me about your subjects. How do you choose them? Well, I, uh, I've always been interested in horses and the uh, human form. And uh, the Western uh, art just happened to be a great platform mm -hmm. to uh, express mm -hmm. my, my Marry art. the two, yes. basically. Mm -hmm. So you've got working cowboys on horses or just maybe um, uh, rodeo, what? Uh, actually, uh, I'm not so much uh, cowboys as, uh, as Indian. I do oh, a lot of Native, Native Americans. Americans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. All right, and so to get your models, are you out and have them come towards you or do you go out and follow them? Uh, well, I look when I and sometimes when I see a person that I think might be appropriate, I'll approach them and mm -hmm. ask them if they'll sit for just a couple uh, shots. shots or something mm -hmm. like that. And, mm -hmm. and most people are accommodating and that sort of thing. So uh, I just gather a, a big backlog of uh, material, and then when I do want to do something, I uh, I'll have a, a uh, like a library that I can reference stuff to pull from. out. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your ideas, or they just come from your imagination? You know what? Uh, that's tough. I have a huge number of ideas, uh, way more than I'll probably ever uh, get successfully. To? Yeah. Complete, yeah. but uh, they come from all different places. They come from uh, from history and from other artists and from uh, um, just all kinds of different things. Uh, you never know when something's going to pop up and uh, and uh, spur your imagination. Well, 32 years is a long time to be working and enjoying it, and that's great. Um, talk to me about being a member of WAA and and having the show here. What does that mean for you? Well, it's a very new experience. Uh, it's a great uh, organization so far and a uh, great opportunity to uh, get my art exposed a little bit and mm -hmm. uh, end up in a different end of the country. Yes, um, because you're based oh, where? In Montana. Okay, mm -hmm. oh well, that is a ways mm -hmm. away, isn't it's it? Yeah, ways away. just way, way up. But mm -hmm. they used to drive cattle that far from Texas. That's right. <laughs> kind of fun. All right, and if someone sees your, your work, how do they find you? How do they reach you and contact you? Do you have a website? I do. And very simple, jackmuir.com. Okay, so that's www.jack, and Muir is spelled M U I R. Correct. Com. Correct. Well, that's excellent. Well, thank you so much for spending time and visiting with me. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Stay right there. <laughs> and you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon.